A Coco boat ride is officially coming to California at Disney's California Adventure as well as a ton of other announcements that came out of the D23 Expo presentation up next. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Scott and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below with those bell notifications on. And if you like this video, please leave it a like at the end to watch more. Today we're talking about the Disneyland announcements that came out of D23, the big anticipated Horizons Parks and Experience presentation. Now I already filmed the Walt Disney World version of this. This is just the Disneyland version. So if you want to watch the Walt Disney World version, it should actually already be out on the channel. If not, it'll be uploaded shortly after this video. So did two separate videos just because there was a lot to be discussed. So if you want to watch that one, make sure you check on my channel. But as I said in the Disney World video one, Josh Tomorrow did promise these are in active development. They're not just blue sky ideas, which I really appreciated considering the fact that in the 2022 D23 Expo, a lot of it was blue sky. But no, we did get a lot of confirmation and stuff that we've heard about before and stuff that's completely brand new as far as surprises go. So let's talk about the one thing that I mentioned in the intro, a Coco themed boat ride. That's right, everybody. The first ever Coco attraction has been announced for Disney's California Adventure. Everybody's asking, where in the world is this going to go? Well, I'm in agreement with that. Where in the world is it going to go? We don't have to really worry about that until they actually break ground all the way in 2027. I'm excited for Coco to come to Disney's California Adventure. I'm not excited about that timeline. 2027 breaking ground means that it probably won't open up until like 2030 or late 2029 would be my best guess. I mean, I'm hoping that I'm wrong with this timeline, but it does seem a little bit late to start this attraction considering the fact that they don't really have anything going on at Disneyland right now other than Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which we did get an opening date for. So yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer, but nonetheless, we did get confirmation that there will be a Coco themed dark ride or boat ride, I should say, that'll be opening up at California Adventure. Don't know where it's going to go. My best guess would be the Hollywood area of the park or maybe even the Grizzly River Rapids. However, that'd be such a big place to take out for just one boat ride so i think we're more so looking at the hollywood land area and maybe just maybe this is part of a bigger project and them just bringing an entire coco land one can cross their fingers and hope on that so maybe that's just a speculation that i'm throwing out there however official coco ride to dca now, obviously, the big Avatar expansion has been talked about a lot. They've been putting out different concept art pieces here and there and saying this is what it could be. Now, officially, they talked about it like officially, officially that an Avatar land will officially be coming to Disney's California Adventure. And this land looks absolutely insane. They shared so much concept art as far as the boat ride goes. And this boat ride looks really similar to what we see at the Pirates over at Shanghai Disneyland, which if you guys haven't seen footage of that ride, it's like one of the most insane boat rides ever. This is exactly what that looks like in the concept art, just judging based on scale of how small the people are compared to all the incredible sets and screens and stuff around them. This isn't going to be no Navi River Journey at Disney's Animal Kingdom. No, this is going to be a massive boat ride attraction as a part of the Avatar Land coming to DCA. I definitely think that this is a part of the Disneyland Forward expansion, although I could be wrong and this could be actually the one replacing Hollywood Land. This is one, at least if from the press release that I'm reading, we didn't get a timeline on this one. So that's a little bit of a bummer. However, we did find out the most about this one as well as confirmation on that boat ride. So I'm really hoping that soon we see construction because other than, like I said, Tiana's, we don't really have anything that's in active construction right now. So I really want to see them get going on this thing because the concept art of the actual land, not only the boat ride, but the land looks massive. And, and honestly, like some of the pieces that we'll see here, they're all going to be different from Avatar, the, the Pandora over at Animal Kingdom. But it definitely like there's definitely big pieces in this land as well. So they're definitely going to need a lot of space, whether that's in the symbol parking lot, a part of Disneyland forward, or if it's going to be in Hollywood land. I'm really excited that we don't have to speculate really anymore on the Avatar land. And we can finally say that it's officially coming and we have a full on concept of exactly what it's going to look like. I'm super freaking excited about Avatar. And this is one of those things I predicted that they would talk about 
about in our predictions video. So here we go, Avatar coming to DCA very, very soon. All right, everybody, but I feel like the biggest meme out of Disney in general, since they have been talking about this for the longest time, is the big e-ticket attraction as a part of Avengers Campus. Well, they finally discussed it. They had the ride vehicle on the expo floor, and I was like, okay, cool. I mean, they put the, the cut of King Thanos there. We heard this all in 2022, yada, yada, yada. However, they officially revealed the name for this attraction. It's going to be called Avengers Infinity Defense. The ride system looks similar to what we've seen at other theme parks. However, with this, I think that they're going to use special effects to jump into different multiverses or jump through different timelines through the different portals similar to like the portals that we're jumping through in guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind over at epcot that's kind of the idea that i'm getting from this but just in a different ride system obviously king thanos is there he's a main antagonist so we're trying to help the avengers uh, defeat king thanos because king thanos is taking advantage of all this new technology to jump across space and everything but they did share a whole lot of concept and a whole lot of like video footage i should say during the actual presentation of avengers infinity quest so i'm excited i'm really really hoping that it is actually happening and it seems like they're going to be starting construction very soon on this as well josh tomorrow when he was talking about this specific attraction he made it clear that they are going to be doing this no questions asked the avengers e-ticket ride now called avengers infinity defense will be a brand new ride that's coming to Avengers Campus at Disney's California Adventure. But then he said, that's not the only attraction being added to that land, in which everybody was like, uh, excuse me? That's because directly outside the entrance to Infinity Defense, there will be another new attraction called the Stark Flight Lab. This isn't going to be some massive attraction. No, this is going to be more so like a flat ride where you're going to get to experience some new technology that Mr. Stark Iron Man himself has designed for guests to test out. It's kind of like a simulator where you get on like an arm and it's a two seater and it's going to spin you upside down and circles and everything and there's going to be different theming elements to it obviously all based around Stark Labs, Stark Industries, all that fun stuff and it's awesome because they actually shared a photo of Bob Iger and Robert Downey Jr. sitting in the prototype vehicle for this so we know that like it, it's official like if Robert Downey Jr. is a part of it, then it definitely is official, which he will be reprising his role as a part of this attraction, as well as the Infinity Defense ride. So while well, yes, this is something that doesn't really get me excited, like get me pumped up to go to Avengers Campus, I still think adding more things to that land is gonna benefit them in the long run, because a whole big thing for Avengers Campus is obviously the Spider-Man attraction and the already existing Guardians attraction, but it's just all entertainment and they cut back on the entertainment due to the strike that's going on right now, which I still think that Disney needs to address because entertainment is such a big part of these theme parks and they all obviously deserve fair wages. I do think it's good all the additions that they're going to add to Avengers Campus because it adds more value to the land rather than just having one attraction that's like a shooter ride and then just a bunch of you know characters walking around and then one just random facade there for no reason now we have a reason for it in infinity defense so i'm excited that they're adding two new attractions as a part of avengers campus and they're supposed to break ground very very soon and it will be located right behind that giant facade where you see the quinjet on top and probably expand a little bit further behind guardians of the galaxy mission breakout as well lots of california adventure announcements so that's really all we have for california adventure now let's jump across the way to Disneyland. So like I said, we do have an opening date for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The opening date for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, the brand new uh, Flume attraction is November 13th, opening up at Disneyland. So that's the official date and they're changing Critter Country, which was expected. It'll now be called Bayou Country. I think that's a more fitting name considering the fact that they're opening Tiana's Bayou Adventure. They're changing the two different gift shops. Pooh Corner will still be there and the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh will still be there as well as the canoe attraction and then of course they did announce that they are re-theming Hungry Bear Restaurant as well so that whole area is getting a, a nice little revamp and it's going to be called Bayou Country so I'm really excited to finally experience Tiana's Bayou Adventure because it looks amazing over at Walt Disney World I just hope that we don't suffer these same like 
animatronic malfunctions and ride downtime that Magic Kingdom's currently having to go through. Something that kind of came out of left field that was kind of rumored, but just like I said, came out of left field for Disneyland is a brand new show, which will include an audio animatronic of the man himself, Walt Disney. This will be a brand new rotating show that will go in the Lincoln Theater. However, they're not taking away moments with Mr. Lincoln. No, they're going to rotate out the shows, which I think is really neat. And in this brand new show, we will see an animatronic of Walt Disney himself. This show will be called Walt Disney A Magical Life, and it will debut inside the Main Street Opera House. And after its initial run, the attraction will play in rotation with great moments with Mr. Lincoln. A fitting acknowledgement of Walt's significant advances with audio animatronics about 60 years ago when we first introduced the groundbreaking technology. I think it's going to be so cool to see a Walt Disney animatronic. It's definitely going to make a whole lot of people happy and it's really going to be able to connect with the audience because he's going to be telling a story and it's going to feel like he's still alive and he's still there but just in animatronic form. So I think that this is a really neat idea. And I think like bravo to Disney for putting stuff like this in because while yes, we want new attractions and all that stuff, Disneyland's history is also important. So the fact that they're tying in something to that, I think that's really cool. And we can't wait till this debuts. This will be debuting in 2025. The animatronic is already built. I'm sure it's already done. And this show will be debuting next year. So there's something that we have to look forward to within the very, very near future, seeing that Walt Disney animatronic. Last but not least, something that implies to all the parks with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Finally, they're changing up Smuggler's Run, and they're adding a new mission featuring Mondo and Grogu, or Baby Yoda, in their near future. No timeline for this, but the fact that they're finally changing up Smuggler's Run, so it's not the same repetitive ride every single time, and adding these new age characters in with Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian, that's something that I did not see coming either. And like I said, this will be happening at all the Galaxy's Edge versions. That is all the announcements that we had for Disneyland from the D23 Horizons presentation. I'm bummed that they didn't talk about certain things. Like obviously I wanted to hear more about Disneyland Ford. But the big thing was Tomorrowland. Like why didn't we not get any announcement for Tomorrowland? I feel like the Tomorrowland overhaul is well overdue, but it seems like they have no plans at all for that. However, we did get a good chunk of announcements, some that surprised us, which I'm pretty happy about. But let us know down below in the comments section your general reaction to the presentation and go in and go watch that Walt Disney World video as well that's up on our channel. So that way you can leave a comment on there on what you thought of the Disney World announcement. My name is Scott and if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe with those bell notifications on for more videos like the one that you just watched. Positivity is key and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out everybody.